Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and this is more of a casual video. Basically I just want to show you how to use Azure and have the storage in there and map it as a network drive. So to do this, just sign into your Azure portal. Just Google Azure portal and you'll come across this page. Then sign in with whatever account that you use to create it. In this demo I'm using a trial account so I haven't actually paid any money just to give you a proof of concept of how you can do this. So when you've logged in, you'll see a page similar to this. You have probably asked to you know, verify your account or whatever it is. But when you're actually into Azure and you're in the portal, it will look something like this with some modules on the left hand side. But the one we're going to focus on is resource groups first. We need to create one of these in order to create a storage account. So go ahead and open resource groups. And then when it does load eventually, you want to click on create resource group or click add up to you. And you can also select your subscription at the top, but I'm going to use my free trial. As I said, this is where you now give a name to your resource group. So I'm just going to call it ads productions or ADZ group. That's fine. And then choose the region. You can have the region set anywhere. This is just for performance. I'm based in New Zealand, but I tend to just use central US for these demos. So that's what we're going to do here. When you've done, press the save button at the bottom. And eventually you'll see like a summary of what you're going to create. Then you press confirm. As long as you're happy with that, of course. Okay, so we've now made our resource group. Give it a few minutes and it will generate and you have it existing in your Azure tenant. Now we've got the resource group done. We actually need to create the storage account itself. So on the left hand side, head over to where it says storage. As you can see there, I'm moving the mouse to suggest that the resource group has been created. Refresh it a few times and it will show you you have in fact got it there. Next up, go to storage accounts on the left and then you'll see a similar box that says create storage account. We're going to click on this one. I'll zoom in a bit here. Choose your free trial subscription again. Give your storage account a name. So we're going to call it ADZ storage. And of course that's taken. So I'm going to call it ADZ storage one, two, three. Select the location. See it suggests Australia East but I'm going to just change it back over to central US to try and keep it as consistent as possible. I would just leave these as default if I was you, unless you need it to be a premium performance storage. Um, just select storage V2 standard performance with the locally redundant storage. If you really care about this sort of thing or you have specific requirements, this is where you would change them. And you can change it to hot access tier, which means you're going to be actively writing and reading from it rather than just cold storage. You'll get to another confirmation page just like we did before. It's going to say, I'm just going to validate this. And when validation passes, it will allow you to click the create button at the bottom. So let's do that. Azure will indicate that it is actually initializing the deployment, submitting the deployment, then it will say deployed. It does take a few minutes, I find, depending on time of day, yada, yada. It's it's pretty quick though, it only takes a few minutes at most. So you can see there in the center of the screen, we do have your deployment is underway. Not much you can do here, go and grab a coffee, put some music on if you want. It won't take long, so just wait it out, that's all you can do. You don't have to keep refreshing the page, it will automatically refresh. So you can see there the ADZ storage one, two, three did appear without me pressing refresh, but there you go, I'm just pressing it a few times just to, just to demonstrate that fact. And eventually, when it decides to finish loading, there we go, your deployment is complete. Okay, now you've got a storage account. You've got resource groups, or a resource group, shall I say. Now let's actually link this to your mapped network drive so you can actually move stuff into it fairly easy. Head on back over to that storage accounts tab and you'll see your storage account that you created. Click on it again, and then during the, well, fairly close to the bottom of the list within this storage account, you'll see an area called file, uh, what does it say? I can't quite read the, oh yeah, file service. So click on file service, and then you see a files button. 
Click on flowers again and up will come nothing because you don't have anything there yet. So what you can do is you press the plus on file share to create a file share. So this is like your home, TV shows, movies, whatever you want to call it. For this demo it's ADZ file share. You can also select your quota. You can do a maximum of five terabytes. A thousand gig is a terabyte. So I'm going to choose one terabyte. So a thousand gig. You can choose up to five terabytes. So there you go, put a thousand in there on the quota, press create. It will say you've successfully created it, and there you go, you've got your share now. So now let's map this very share. To map the share, click on the little three dots next to the storage account. This is the context menu. And then go to properties. Okay, next up, you see that URL there? Copy the text of this whole entire text box into a separate place, like a notepad file, notepad++. You can even write it down if you feel like manually typing it in. So as you can see, I've just copied that URL onto a notepad file for my later use. This is pretty important because this is going to allow us to connect to this share. We have the Azure address, now we need the username and password. To do this, go up to where it says Access Keys, towards the top of that middle menu. When you've clicked on Access Keys, you'll see Storage Account Name at the very top. Copy this to the same notepad file. You can even press the Copy to Clipboard button on the far right, or you can just Copy Paste, Control C, Control V. Copy that Storage Account Name across. That's your username, very important. So Storage Account Name is your username. In that same window, you'll see Key 1, and key 2. You can use any of these keys, but to keep it uniform, just copy the first key. This is your password, your unique, massively long password. So you have your connection address, you have your username, and you have your password. One thing to note here is if you're going to add a network drive with this, do you see that HTTPS address, the ADZ storage1231 at the very top? Basically, all you have to do is change the slashes on it to be the other way around. So it fits in with the Windows Explorer mapped network drive. So you can see there I'm doing slash slash and then changing the slash over to a backslash. So I get rid of that one there. And just put a backslash in. This is the correct format for your PC to be able to interact with your Azure tenant. And as you can see, I'm going to copy this address. I'm going to go over to the usual place, go over to this PC. If you right click on this PC and go to Map Network Drive, just paste in that exact URL that we've changed or modified, shall we say. It's the same address, just a different format. So backslash, backslash, the whole address, backslash, share name. When you're happy, click on Connect using different credentials. This is where those other details come in. So copy that storage account name. This is going to be your username. I've already said that once, but just thought I'd keep repeating myself just so it's clear. So username's there. Now get that key and put that key in the password. Click on remember my credentials. And with a bit of luck, you have a mapped network drive in the Azure tenant. As simple as that. So I'm just going to demonstrate. You can go to new and make a new file. Just going to do a simple text document. What you should do just to confirm that this is actually working is log back into the Azure tenant. That's the web based dashboard. Go to storage account. Go to files under file service. Go to your share. And you should see this test document. If you see the file in the corresponding share on the Azure portal, you've configured this correctly. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with a tutorial on how to do a mapped network drive linked to Microsoft Azure. If you have any questions or want to request any further tutorials, please leave a comment below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thanks again.